What's up guys, I'm Rustin from rustmertech.com and this is another tutorial in assembly programming. Now in this class I'm going to talk about another conditional loop called loop E. Now loop E is identical to loop Z. In my last tutorial I showed you guys how loop Z works. It's completely identical. It means loop if equal, basically if the zero flag is set. Now since it's a conditional loop, right? It works uh, almost the same as a regular loop, right? The only difference is it has a extra condition. First, the first condition, we, we all know that uh, the CX flag is the counter, right? So for the loop to happen, the CX uh, or ECX, depending on if you're using a 16-bit or a 32-bit operand, has to be greater than zero, right? Once the CX register hits zero, the loop stops. But since it's a conditional jump, the zero flag must be set as well. The zero flag has to be set for one and the CX or ECX register has to be greater than zero for the loop to continue. So let's open up MU8086. Since uh, this is identical to the loop Z, I'm gonna use the same code that I used in my last tutorial. But the only difference is I, I added a few uh, comments on the side to help us out here. Now. Uh, as you can see here, I, I just added the, the loop E instruction in place of the loop C. So this is the exact same code we used in our last tutorial. I'm going to describe what every uh, line of code does here. Now the first line of code here, we moved into uh, CX the value of 5. We moved into CX the value of 5 because we want we, we want to set the CX counter to 5. We want this loop to continue 5 times. right? Now we moved into BX the value of 5 as well. The reason we moved into BX the value of 5 is because right before the loop instruction down here, uh, we, we want to compare BX with 5. We, we want to set the zero flag so, so, so the loop continues, right? So that, that, that's the main reason why we moved into BX the value of 5. So we could compare down here BX with 5. So the zero flag is set. So the loop continues. Now, over here, this is our loop label, right? This is the label that the loop is going to jump to. And once the loop jumps, it'll uh, highlight uh, the first line of code under the, the label, which would be uh, move into DL the value of 5. Now, we moved into DL the value of 5 because we want the, the 5 to print on the, out on the screen, right? And uh, we added into DL48 because we, we want to convert uh, that value of 5 into character 5. So it prints character 5 on the, on the screen, right? So our next line of code here is move into AH. 2H. This is the code for print character. So whatever value is in the DDL register, it'll print on the screen. INT21H is the code to like initialize the whatever code you want it to do. Like in this case, to move into AH2H, it's just a code for do it. It just means do it. Now under here is compare BX with, with value of 5. I just explained to you why we are comparing BX with 5. The reason we're comparing BX with the value of 5 is because we want to set the zero flag, right? The compare instruction sets the zero flag. So we want the zero flag to be set, right? The zero flag would only be set if these two operands are equal. In this case, BX has a value of 5 and we're comparing BX with 5. So they're both equal, so the zero flag should be set. So the loop will continue. So underneath here, we have the loop E instruction, right? Loop if equal. So, so the loop will happen if, again, CX or ECX is greater than 0. Once, zero, once it reaches 0, then the loop stops. And if the ZF flag is set to 1. So those two conditions have to be met for the loop to happen. So let's hit emulate. Let's hit run, right? And as you can see over here, it printed out five, five times. That's exactly what we wanted it to do. So again, this is pretty simple. The loop E instruction is identical to the loop Z instruction. Basically, it's, it's a loop instruction with a extra condition. The extra condition is the zero flags have to be set. All right, so that's, so that's pretty much it for this tutorial. If you guys like this tutorial, please give me a like. If you want more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel. I'm Rissim from RossMertech.com, and thanks for watching.